Hi everyone, my name is Justin Plotkin. I'm a startup solutions architect at Amazon Web Services based out of New York City. One of Amazon's leadership principles is customer obsession. 90% of our roadmaps are based on customer feedback, which might mean we've got multiple services available to solve a particular challenge. When I'm working with my customers, I'm often asked whether Amazon Kinesis or Amazon Managed Streaming for Kafka would be a better fit for the use case. In this video, I'll be walking you through a hypothetical startup, give you some key criteria to consider when deciding between Kinesis or MSK, and finally walk you through common scenarios when one would be preferred over another. Let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to the next hot startup example company destined for unicorn status. Customer machines send example company system metrics, which they index, analyze for insights and trends, and display on dashboards. They've launched an MVP of their application using AWS Elastic Beanstalk as a single monolithic code base deployed on a Docker container. Customers are really loving Example Company's product and their business is growing fast, but the system has been difficult to scale, a great problem to have. Example Company needs to have separate consumers perform different activities on each metric being ingested, such as indexing them for search, archiving for long-term storage, and adding additional context like GOIP information. Example Company has a very small team of engineers who are constantly firefighting and context shifting between working on new features, fixing bugs, and scaling the system. It's starting to wear down on the team, and they'd really like to have a much calmer working environment. The team has enjoyed the benefits of having Beanstalk manage their infrastructure and their deployments, and would like to use another managed service to scale the ingestion pipeline. Customers love seeing real-time data on the dashboards. It's one of the key selling points of Example Company's product, and has been driving their growth. This is a simple diagram describing Example Company's current architecture. Users accessing the dashboards and service sending metrics are both going to the same Elastic Beanstalk application and the data is being stored in an Amazon Aurora database. As they onboard more customers, the number of servers and the number of metrics from each server are increasing and the load is causing availability issues for the users accessing the dashboards. One of AWS's core strengths is offering our customers choices in how they'd like to build and architect their systems. If we look at a few of the analytics and application services we offer, there are at least four separate services that Example Company could use to address their scaling concerns. The first service we'll look at in the Amazon Kinesis family of services is Amazon Kinesis Data Streams. We'll then look at Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka or MSK. Next, we'll look at the Amazon Simple Notification Service or SMS. And finally, we'll look at the Amazon Simple Q Service or SQS. Before we dive into each service, we should define common criteria we can use to evaluate each service based on Example Company's requirements to make the best choice. When comparing streaming services, it's helpful to think about your problem in these four key dimensions. Latency, when data is written into the system, how quickly do I need to be able to read it back out again? Ordering, do you need the events to maintain orders they flow through the system? Cost, how will I be charged to use the service? And retention, how long am I able to retain the data in the service before it expires and is deleted? With these four criteria, we can evaluate each service in more detail, starting with Amazon Kinesis data streams. Amazon Kinesis Data Streams is a fully managed data streaming service. Applications that send data into a Kinesis stream are called producers, and applications that read data from the stream are called consumers. Consumers can be Amazon Kinesis Data, data Analytics if you want to perform real-time analytics on the data stream, Apache Spark on EMR, a custom application on Amazon EC2, or an AWS Lambda. If you want to easily send the stream data to Amazon Elasticsearch Service, Amazon S3, Redshift, or Splunk, you can use Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose. Looking at our criteria, Amazon Kinesis Data Streams has very low latency, often making data available in 200 milliseconds. Kinesis Data Streams are scaled and provisioned per shard, and the events within a single shard maintain order. You are charged by the shard and the number of put operations to write data into the stream. And you aren't charged for reading the data. It's less than seven days old. Data is accessible for up to 24 hours by default and can be increased up to a year. Next, let's look at MSK. Amazon Managed Streaming for Kafka, or MSK for short, is a managed Apache Kafka cluster service that allows you to select how many Kafka brokers you'd like to run in a variety of instance sizes. MSK takes care of managing the Apache Zookeeper cluster that Kafka internally uses for cluster coordination. MSK is a great choice if you're running Kafka today and you want to reduce the operational overhead of managing the brokers. However, you are still responsible for managing your overall broker capacity and scaling the number and size of your brokers. Kafka organizes its data into topics. Producers write data into topics, while consumers read data from topics. MSK is the lowest latency out of all the services we'll be looking at today, where data is available for consumption immediately after being written to the topic. 
In order to scale the reads or the writes of a topic, topics are partitioned and replicated across the brokers. Messages within a topic partition maintain their order. You pay for MSK based on the number and size of the broker instances per hour and the amount of storage you allocate to the brokers. Data retention can be configured in the MSK up to the amount of storage available on the brokers. Next, let's talk about an AWS service that's been around for many years, but is still a very practical purpose. It's the Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS for short. SNS is great for publish and subscribe use cases where you define an SNS topic and then you subscribe various services to the topic. SNS allows you to fan out or duplicate your messages to each subscriber. SNS supports AWS Lambda, Amazon Simple Q service, Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose, HTTP endpoints, email, SMS text messaging, and even mobile push notifications to subscribers. The latency of SNS can vary depending on the subscriber, but SNS does guarantee at least once delivery of each message to each subscriber as long as the subscriber is available. By default, messages sent to an SNS topic are unordered, but you can enable first in, first out, or FIFO to preserve message ordering. Pricing is based on the number of messages published into a topic and the number of deliveries. SNS doesn't retain any messages, but you can configure a dead letter queue to automatically send failed deliveries so you can retry them later. The last service I want to cover is the Amazon Q service, or SQS, which was the very first AWS service released back in 2006. Unlike SNS that publishes messages to the subscribers, SQS lets you send messages into the queue and receive messages by pulling the queue for new messages. When a consumer receives the messages from SQS, a message visibility timer begins, which prevents any other consumers from being able to see the message until the timer expires. Consumers must delete each consumed message to prevent them from being consumed multiple times. From a latency perspective, consumers pull SQS for new messages, so there is a delay depending on how frequently consumers are polling. By default, messages in SQS are unordered and similar to SNS, SQS also supports first in or first out queues if you need to maintain message ordering and to prevent duplicates. You are charged based on the number of requests and the amount of data being sent to receive from SQS. And SQS can be configured to store messages for up to 14 days. Now let's go back to Example Company's original requirements and figure out what service would be the best fit. Example Company's second requirement was they wanted a fully managed service. All four of the services I presented are managed in the sense that AWS operates the service for you. However, users need to monitor the MSK broker capacity and manually scale the number or size of the broker instances. So I think we can exclude that one from the being fully managed. SNS works very well as a published subscribe system that supports many separate consumers, but it doesn't retain the messages if they aren't able to be delivered. To improve message reliability, a common approach is to have SNS publish messages into separate SQS queues, one for each consumer. Kinesis Data Streams, on the other hand, natively supports having multiple consumers reading data from the, same, from the same stream. So it's much simpler from an architectural perspective. Example Company's last requirement was that they wanted the data to be as close to real time as possible, which means we can exclude the SNS SQS approach due to the variability in message delivery from SNS and the polling that occurs within SQS. Based on requirements in the four dimensions of latency, ordering, cost, and retention, I think Amazon Kinesis data streams work best for example company's use case. This architecture will allow example company to scale the metrics ingest pipeline separately from the main application. Example company can, can continue to use Elastic Beanstalk to manage the workers consuming data from Kinesis. To summarize what we discussed, if you want to process ordered data in real time with the ability to replay records, Amazon Kinesis data streams is the best approach. If you need to fan out data to multiple subscribers with high throughput and low latency, Amazon Simple Notification Service is a good choice. And finally, if you want to decouple application components by passing messages around without worrying about scale, Amazon Simple Q Service would be best. Thank you for your time and attention today. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the words of Amazon.com CTO Werner Vogels, now go build. Thanks.